I'm going to change some titles now because we can see on the audit list that uh, that's one of the tasks that I've got. And here I'm going to use my find and replace option in order to change some of the occurrences of the entire website with, the, with regard to the name of the title. So I'm going to close uh, some of these pages firstly that I had open. Um, I like to start by having the template open because that's the one thing that I am going to be relying on all the way through. With the whole site selected, I'm going to choose the find and replace. And I'm going to replace that whole term there with Nubo Riche. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change over the whole site I'm going to choose green start and I'm going to change that swap that for Nubo Riche as well And if I look on my template, you can see that it's changed down there. It's not changed on the actual title here, and there's a reason for that. If we look in the code view for the template, we can see that actually the title is broken up into two parts. Just scroll down. Here it is. So line 34, it's actually divided into two. So to change that well, none. I'll have to do it this way. So I'm going to a U. This word, reach. If we look at live view now, you can see that that has now changed the title. I might also, while I'm at it, change green up in the um, navigation, but I'm going to be changing the names of those anyway, so I'll do that at a later time. The asterisk indicates that I've made changes that I haven't yet saved. So I'm going to choose File, Save, and it will prompt me to update all of the pages I've created from it, including the new ones, and I'll select that and it will up update all of the pages. And I can check that by just looking at one of the pages and you can see it's been changed. If I look in the footer, that part has already been changed.